You can see it written all over his face. You can also feel how excited Johnny Meko of Meko Land, his royal highness Oba Benjamin Alambi Olanite was when he offered songs of praise to his maker for making the 2023 Agbuni Kuchi Festival Day possible after the town had been denied celebrating the annual festival due to the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic in 2019. <laughs> Baolanite says the annual Admirikoti Festival Day in the kingdom was an avenue to thank God for his faithfulness and to pray for the indigenous of Imeko, Ogun State, and Nigeria at large. The traditional ruler said this in Imeko, Imeko, from local government area of Ogun State, while announcing this year's Admirikoti Day and some of the activities lined up for the celebration of the 45th Admirikoti anniversary. The Day celebration is a week long celebration. It is between 18th of September and 23rd, this for the fifth of its kind. The importance of Agbin Rekoti Festival, I may call this celebration, uh, it started in 1893 when it may call resented after a decade of Dahomean destruction of the town. It was at resettlement that people, the people of Imeko, Ibn Rekuti, Onimeko, Agbin Rekuti, they began the celebration of Agbin Rekuti Festival. That the town that God has established could not be destroyed. After the attempt of destruction by the Romian, they reset to again. The town resuscitated because it is God Himself that has planted the town. According to Obalanite, the event is also meant to display the rich cultural heritage of Imeko land to celebrate the history of how their forefathers founded the town. Part of the program is to go to the old site of Imeko from where we migrated in 1706 to this present site, according to the record of I.W. Butler who wrote it down, the present day maker that we got here through migration from the old site in, in uh, 200 years ago. That was in 1906. So if you remove 200 years from 1906, it gives us the accurate figure of 1706 so that our forefathers left the old site for this site. And on this plateau, because there is Fali, it was Fali site. This plateau of it and the 16th Onimeko of Imeko. Why the number of Olu, because they call them Olu Meko then. Why the number of Olu that are reigned then? We cannot ascertain. But on this plateau, I am the 16th. So we have to go there to go and see this is where our forefathers, our ancestors has lived before migrated to the plateau. And that is the source of water we are drinking, the Oshuru water spring. Expected to grace the occasion, a special guest of honor is the chief of staff to the president, Right Honorable Femi Bajambia Mila, to be supported by Governor Babajide Sonwulu of Lagos State and Oyo State Governor Ejina Shuimakinde. The chief host is the state governor, Prince Takbo Abiodun. After Lagos Colony, Southern Nigeria in 1906, by the last governor of Lagos Colony, who happened to become the first governor 
of southern Nigeria, that is Sawata Egati. And when the Amaga that first amalgamation came up, the southern Nigeria was divided into three, western province, eastern province, and central province. The western province of southern Nigeria was divided into 11 and a half districts, Lagos, Epe district, Ikorodu district, Badagri district, Imeko district, Egba district, Ijebode district, Oyo district, Ibado district, Ondo district, Ilesha district, and Oshobo sub district. So uh, you can see the reason why we are sending letter to governors in order to tell them that in those days they should not just be watching and be looking at us. We are not even Oshobo that happened to be the to be a sub district there is now a state capital. Compare with the full fledged district, here we are. But we are inviting them to look back and to help us to grow. To further reduce the effect of climate, the monarch launched the planting of trees in the Meko community. He urged all residents to cultivate the habit of planting trees in their homes. When you get to our forest reserve, trees have been destroyed for charcoal making and such. Now we have to resolve. If the one God has planted, we have finished them. Now we have to start planting other ones to replace those ones. Tree is life. It makes your environment natural. Obalanite, who lamented the visible climate change as a result of deforestation, said over 3,000 trees have been planted by his people. A land is so good for farming, good for agriculture. We are farming effa flourish. Uh, farming effa feed and farmers effa flourish. Uh, we are starting the program, commencing the annual Imeko Day, Agri Festival, by tree planting, by planting trees, as we have done today. Um, we started about two, three months back, and I can tell you that about a uh, about 3,000 trees have been planted this year. Um, we want to make it an annual event that on an annual basis, we have to be planting trees. Tree planting, when you get to Republic of Benin, is a culture that even the government devoted day, that a day, someone, somebody, a human being must plant a tree. The Royal Highness noted that Meko is well blessed with natural resources and if well tapped by government, it will boost the foreign exchange of the country. When you neglect, you neglect border community and you are putting where it's not border area, you are calling it border area. So all these histories, all these things that the colonial master have done for their conveniency, for their economic gain, for their economic gain. So, I think Nigerian government should tread that path and they will see the goods and values that it will add to their governance. He also lamented that the road leading to the town, though a federal road, remains unpassable while there is no presence of any tertiary institution in the community. He calls on President Bola Tinubu to use his good office to turn around the fortune of the town. By God's special grace, we are expecting tertiary institution in this land. We are expecting the road. You see, Imeko and Binikebi. As Binikebi is to, to the northern area, then northern protectorate, so also Imeko was to Lagos colony, even to southern Nigeria in those days. Binikabi today is a state capital in the northern part. So I know, and by God's special grace, that God will help the Nigerian government to establish a full fledged conventional university in this land. Imeko is a nation town spread out in the hilly region of Ogun State, a few kilometers from the Bene Republic border. <laughs> Kaudadi Bili reporting from Emeko Yewa, Ogun State.
people of the fountain.